Have you ever wondered how we generate electricity through wind turbines, hydroelectric dams, and geothermal power plants? What all these things have in common? What is the main idea surrounding them? The answer lies in the concept of electromagnetism. Let's start by talking about magnets. You see, some certain metals are not attracted to magnets. Metals like copper, aluminum, and gold never interact with magnets. Unless we apply the concept of electromagnetism. But what does electromagnetism really mean? Well, electromagnetism is simply the interaction between electricity and magnetism. Now take a look at this compass. What if I tell you that this compass has something to do with electromagnetism? Earth has a very strong magnetic field, making it a giant electromagnet. A compass works by aligning itself along the Earth's magnetic field. Okay, like I said earlier, non-magnetic metals like aluminum and copper can be made magnetic through electricity. Electricity is a flow of atomic particles called electrons that move from negative end of a battery through conductors towards the positive end. Here, you can see that when I touch this to the pile of paper clips, nothing happens since none of these are magnets. But when I attach the battery, we now have a powerful magnet. This demonstrates electromagnetism which describes how an electric current produces a magnetic field and conversely how a changing magnetic field generates an electric current in a conductor. But how will the induced electric current affect the magnetic field of the magnet? According to the second statement of Faraday's law, the value of the induced current is proportional to the rate of the change of magnetic flux. A magnetic flux is a measurement of the total magnetic field which passes through a given area. The mathematical form looks like this. Is equal to n multiplied by the change in flux divided by the change in time. For example, you have a coil with 1000 turns which is surrounded by a flux of 6 mW. Then the flux is reduced to 3 mW in one tenth of a second. Now, what will be the voltage induced? Using the formula, we now know that the total amount of voltage induced is 30 volts. This proves the law of electromagnetic Electromagnetism is a field that changed the course of history and continues to fascinate minds. So the next time you see a magnet, imagine its potential in generating the power to operate the world around us.